What's up everybody, it's Carl from the Tinkerverse. So today we are in Xtools Creative Space and we're gonna duplicate a project that I had done previously in Lightburn using the Xtool uh, ecosystem. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a new project and we're gonna make a quick and easy keychain using primarily the offset feature, but we're also gonna do a little bit of image tracing and then set up and prepare the file for uh, processing by the machine. So first things first, let's uh, go ahead and get started. And I'm going to paste in an image here that I'm gonna trace. And let's say, um, let's go up to the trace button here and see my preview and if you notice there's a couple little jagged areas um, down in here and up in here if I zoom in you can see them so I'm gonna actually add a little bit of denoising and I think I need to go up to probably about let's try 60 that looks about right that seems to have gotten rid of most of the artifacts uh, so 60 works so I'm gonna go ahead and save that and then I can get rid of my image. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make that an engrave so that it fills it. And that is the overall engraving that will be on the keychain. Uh, next up, I'm gonna drop this down to size. So let's say, let's go 60 millimeters. It's just over two inches. Um, height wise, yeah, that should be okay. Uh, so we'll start there and let me zoom in. And the next thing I want to do is I want to take this and create an offset. So the offset is going to draw the line around the outside profile, but notice by default it also does the inside as well. Uh, so I want to check outer shapes only, because what it's doing is it does an outset of the eye, an outset of you know the, the, uh, the paws or whatever. I want outer shapes only. And so that'll just give me the very outside design. And I'm going to pull that back a little bit tighter to one millimeter. And I'd say that's good. Okay. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my layers so that I can turn off the engraving. And I'm going to then take this and move this to a new layer. More for personal preference than anything. I'm going to move it to my blue layer. Uh, that just kind of shows me you know, what's being cut versus engraved and kind of is, is more in line with how I do things in Lightburn. So I'm just keeping my, my work, uh, you know, my workflow the same here. Uh, all right, so I've got the outline that'll get cut. The next thing I want to do is I want to add a little bump here for the jump ring for the keychain. So I'm going to go ahead and hit C for circle. And I'm holding the shift key to constrain to a circle. And I actually want that to be 10 millimeters in diameter and then I'm going to add another circle that is four millimeters in diameter and then line these two up so they're centered and you see I get the little plus sign there that shows me that it's centered and I'm going to select both of these and make them into a compound uh, vector and then I'll take this and I'll place this where I want it. So if you wanted it on the tail, you could do it down there or wherever you want. I'm going to put it right between the ears here. And I'm going to put it right about, uh, let's say right about there. Maybe move it. Okay. And then I'm going to select all of this and I'm going to go up to my booleans and I'm going to say unite. And because it was a compound vector, it's going to unite it all similar to the light burn weld feature. Um, and so what I've got now is I've got the nice little cutout for my jump ring and the bump out that keeps everything uh, north of where the engraving is so that it doesn't ruin the engraving in any way. So if I turn back on my engraving, you'll see what I'm talking about. So at that point, we've got a finished and ready to go uh, file set up. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go to my cut and let's set my material my material is going to be three millimeter black acrylic and yes i know it's flammable and my cut in this case um yeah i'd say that's fine we'll keep it exactly where it is and then for my engrave so let's go back to my engrave layer 
And my engrave on black acrylic, I actually like it at 350 and 20%. So I'm going to slow it down just a little bit to get a little bit more frosted look to it. And that should be it. So I've got a cut and then I've got the engrave. And let's see what that looks like in the preview. All right, so in the preview, let's run this as if I were running the job. It's going to run the engraving, which is good. And then at the very end, I should see it run my cut along the outside. All right, nice. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go load up uh, some material into the laser, and I will be right back. Okay, so let's make sure we're connected. And it should capture my screen for me or capture my material placement. All right, and then I'm gonna go, it's hard to see with black, but okay, there we go. So that right there, let me get a close up. Ah, wrong button. I want to leave that at three. What I meant to do was that. Okay, so let's put the whole thing. I'm just trying to maximize my material, so we'll put the whole thing right about there. making sure everything looks good and then process and uh, we'll let her go and we'll see you in a few minutes. guys before we look at the final product here I just want to take a minute and let you know that I am an X tool squad member uh, so if you like the content that you're seeing here I'll drop a link below to my X tool squad homepage so what the X tool squad is is we believe everybody should have a chance to see, touch, truly understand the power of Xtools ecosystem uh, before they invest or have local contacts or trusted contacts that they can engage online or in person to do one-on-one uh, -on -one tutorials or to do material testing or troubleshooting or in some cases light repair work. Uh, so definitely check it out. If you are looking to get an Xtool product or are a current Xtool member and just want to expand your knowledge base, um, you know, definitely check out what the Xtool squad's all about and click the link below if you want to set up some time with me. All right, let's get back to the video. So here is the outcome, the final product off of my Xtool P2 laser. And, uh, you know, you can see that it was really what a two three minute job to get this set up and then a couple minutes and you can crank these things out like crazy you saw in xtool how fast and easy it was to drop that image in there trace it um get an outline going with the offset tool add on the bump for the little jump ring or you can leave the jump ring off and glue a magnet on the back and sell these as refrigerator magnets you know the uh, the possibilities are endless with what you can do with these and it really is fast and easy with xtool's creative uh, space so if you like this video, please make sure you're subscribed to the Tinkerverse. I will be releasing more Xtool content as time goes on. And uh, until next time, we'll catch you later. Thanks.